Way. There we go, look at that. Water. That's what we're after. Way. There we go, look at that. Water. That's what we're after. Oops, I want. Oh, look at that. That is perfect. That is exactly the pose I was hoping he was he was going to get to give me. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm really pleased with that. Any more? No, that's it, just that one. Oh, that's, that's great. Really pleased with that. Hi, and welcome back to another video. It's been um, probably two or three months since I last put a video out. I, I've just been so busy with work, uh, I just haven't really had time to, to uh, put any any meaningful time in to, to set the camera trap up. Despite being busy, I have been out checking on my trail cameras. I've got three trail cameras set up in this area. And um, I've been getting, I've, over the last couple of months, I've been getting some uh, really good activity on there uh, and a, a few species which I've never seen before. I didn't even know they were present in the area, to be honest. Um, I know a, a while ago I put out a video and I was bemoaning the fact that they get no deer around here um, well uh, a couple of weeks back I had uh, a young roe deer as you can see here uh, on my trail camera and then a week or so later I ended up with this month jack uh, this little male month jack just turned up and um, it's so nice to see but uh, the creme de la creme I think uh, probably one of the rarest animals in Wales and uh, one which I certainly didn't expect to uh, to get on my trail camera was this it was a, it's a pine martin uh, they are so scarce in Wales I think there was a few um, translocated from Scotland um, about seven eight years ago uh, about 30 miles away from here so uh, it must be one of these individuals or hopefully the offspring of one of these individuals that were originally brought here from Scotland so, but uh, to get one in front of the trail camera it was it was a really special special thing to see I've been out walking the dogs uh, on a regular basis and I, I was down by here 
a week or two back and uh, one of the dogs was paying a lot of attention to a little stone on the, on the side of the river bank and um, I went over to see what she was sniffing at and uh, sure enough there was a little sprint on there and um, as you do I picked it up had a little sniff and uh, like a very sweet and um, sort of fishy smell it was obviously an otter which uh, I've never really seen otters on this stretch on this little river before I subsequently set up my trail camera and um, sure enough a couple of nights later I had a visit from not one but two otters which which was really nice to see and um, I thought I'm just gonna have to get the camera trap out and get it all set up you know you got the opportunity to photograph an otter uh, you've got to take it and um, I'm set up I'm here in mid Wales uh, on this little spate river um, a lot of the rivers in Wales are uh, well, I once heard them described in a book, uh, I read in a book, uh, someone described them as uh, Welsh rivers are uh, very much like Welsh women, uh, in that they're short and turbulent, <laughs> which uh, it's a very apt description for the rivers, well, and some, for some of the Welsh women, I suppose, as well. Uh, so anyway, um, I'm taking a, a fair bit of a risk here with my equipment because um, you only need a, a bit of a downpour in the hills uh, a couple of miles away and there can be a two foot or three foot of water on here before you know it within within a few minutes and um, to get <laughs> to get up here to to rescue my equipment is just out of the question it's a it's a 70 mile round trip from from home to here and um, I, I wouldn't know you know whether the river was rising uh, let alone get up here and rescue all my equipment so uh, I've just got to keep my fingers crossed and keep my eye on the weather forecast and and uh, if there's any chance of any storms coming in then I'll, I'll be in and I'll, I'll get all the equipment down but um, it's been here for a week already and after the, after the first two nights I managed to catch uh, I managed to get a nice head-on picture of the otter um, it wasn't quite in the right position that I was hoping for, but uh, nevertheless, you know, after after only two nights, I was really pleased. I've just come to check it now, and as you've seen, I, I've got one. He's just in the right position. I was just hoping he was going to turn facing the river, and uh, I've got this main light here shining on the front, and I've got one just just behind you there, uh, a little fill light. Uh, to, f to fill in some of the shadows and uh, just to give a little bit more dimension to the photo really um, It's quite dark in the background. I think I'm gonna put a third light up Just shining out across it. There's like a, a branch a sycamore branch overhanging the river here And maybe if I can just put, put a little bit of light onto that it might just help help the image just fra frame you know if, if I'm lucky enough that the otter does return it might just frame the otter nicely in, in the image so uh, I'll get them set up and uh, I'll be back to you in a minute
Right, well, I've just returned after a, after a couple of days. Uh, I've just come back to check on my gear and I'm afraid I'm going to have to take it all down because um, we've had a load of cattle in here uh, in the last night or two and um, they don't usually get into this area but because uh, the river's so low I think they must have crossed a little bit further upstream and um, I've had uh, my equipment damaged before in the past uh, from being trampled by cattle so I did think it, if anything was going to endanger my equipment it was going to be the river le levels rising but uh, it's the cows this time, but uh, never mind. I'm, I'm going to take it all down. It's, it's been here about a week and a half. Uh, I've managed two photos of the auto, which, you, which I'm happy with. Um, I've still got the trail cameras set up, and if the otters do show up again, um, then I, I may well set the, the camera trap back up again. But uh, in the meantime, I'll leave you, leave you with the two photos that I managed, and uh, hopefully I'll catch you again soon.